Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have four options of the real steel Sakura, I'm guessing it's pronounced. So we have the brown micarta, green micarta, denim, and all blacked out with the G10. I gotta say, I really like this all blacked out one with the gold accents. It does look pretty nifty. And this thing's pretty interesting the way it's constructed and built. We're gonna go through that. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Um, I'm still on the fence between the blue denim and the all blacked out. So the blade steel is K110, which is basically just another version of D2. And it does best with a coarse to medium grit edge. It doesn't really do that well with a polished finish. And the reason why is because of the large carbides. So personally, I think 600 grit is the best finish for for D2 or D2 like steels like K110. And it's not a corrosion resistant steel or a very corrosion resistant steel. So you're gonna wanna keep it dry, keep it clean, keep it oiled um, to prevent corrosion. But it is a steel that does hold an edge for a good amount of time when it's heat treated properly. And, but you know, with different companies that can be kind of hit or miss when we're talking about D2, but at the very least it holds an edge for a decent amount of time, especially if you have a toothy finish. So it's a, a beautiful drop point blade, um, good geometry. And then the handle, if you look, it's folded over. So you can see right here the fold. So they took a piece of steel, stainless steel, and folded it over like this to make the entire scale, almost like an integral. And then, you know, put a crossbar lock in there. We have a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws and is reversible. Um, I like that they did that. There's nothing in the way of slipping it in and out of the pocket. The, the crossbar lock is very grippy, very easy to, to get to. Like, it's... Um, it almost grips you back. Same thing with the thumb studs. They have a lot of traction around the edges. You can probably see it a little bit better with this black one. Lots of traction around the edges. Same thing with the, the crossbar lock. You can see all the traction it's got there. The size is, you know, a, a, a medium sized knife. I don't, I don't want to call it a small knife, but it's definitely not big. So medium sized knife, I can get a full grip on it. Now ergonomics, it's not the most comfortable because of a deep carry clip. Um, however, I'm glad they did inset it. So that does, you know, be, help it a little bit better. But if you look, it kind of gets a little bit narrow down here. You know, it, instead of going fatter, it gets a little bit narrow and then cuts off right there. So because of that, you know, it, it's a... Uh, you feel the clip. You feel the clip quite a bit. Um, but it's not horrifying. And I see, or to me, I think I would mostly use this knife like this. Pinch grips, opening things up, maybe cutting some straps because comfortably, you can comfortably cut straps. Um, and, you know, for the most part, you'll be just fine. So I just went and broke down a box with this one uh, just to see how it felt, you know, in use. And, yeah, it felt good. It actually, uh, the clip didn't bother me a bit. It seems that I kind of tuck my, my fingers up a little bit higher and the clip winds up landing in a spot that doesn't bother me. But when I just naturally grab it, you know, I do feel it. But, yeah, so um, impressive. It cut really good. Um, the it passed through materials really nicely and you know, especially after you put your own edge on it and you put a low angle edge. Oh man, this thing's going to pass through materials real nicely. Um, sharpening toil and plunge grind. Awesome. See how it starts here, ends here. You have a lot of life to sharpen off. Now, another thing, the stop pin is the thumb studs. I was sitting there trying to find where's the stop pin at. Um, I see the closing one and I see the lock, which is the crossbar lock. It is the thumb studs. The thumb studs sit on the liners. So that's pretty cool. All of them came with incredible action, ceramic caged bearings, very, very smooth. The lockup on all of them is pretty good one of them had a little bit of play but i tightened it up and it was just fine and then one came with a little bit of off centering um but i adjusted the pivot i think it's this is no maybe it's this one nope not that one which one was it i think it's this yeah it's this one so this one you can see it's a little bit off 
but this is also it has a little bit of play so i bet if i adjusted it it would be just fine but all in all man this is a pretty cool simple edc knife that's very fidgety and you know it's pretty attractive looking too i mean personally i think it's a nice shape to me it's a useful shape i love neutral ergos so these ergos you know are going to be good in most people's hands um and you know in whatever direction you know you're deciding to cut and then i like that it comes in different colors so you do have different options and it's a simple build so i'm sure that helps bring the price down you know seeing as how this is all just one piece how they didn't have to they do have a, a pin in here if you look so adding some stability or maybe that's is that for the clip yeah so that's for the clip so they have this pin back here for the clip um, but it also adds a little bit of stability to it. So it's not super flexible or anything. It's nice and solid. Um, and the jimping, eh, you know, I prefer it up a little bit farther, but it's fine. It's not bad. You know, it's a basic EDC knife. It's a lightweight, affordable EDC knife. You know, I don't want to rag on it too much. Um, it's, it's very well done. Uh, anyways, I'm not sure if I'll be able to link this one down in the comments or not. But thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Peace.